Hi guys, this is Patrick for Screen Studio. And today we'll uh, see a new app uh, I just discovered. It's called um, Music Brains Picard. You can have that directly from the software center and uh, you just need to install it as usual. Once uh, it is installed, the great thing with this app is that you can export your iPhone music directly in Ubuntu. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So uh, let's close the software center. Remember it's music brains with a Z, Picard. Okay, so the, um, the software is currently already installed, but you need to do something first. Okay, so connect your iPhone uh, my iPhone is in uh, is an iPhone 4s with iOS 7 on it, and uh, if you look here, that's my iPhone. You'll end up in uh, your iPhone uh, folders, and look for the folder called Purchases. This is where your music is located. So basically, uh, it's going to take a few seconds. Uh, everything is in there, but it's kind of a mess. Uh, all audio files are M or M4A, those are MP4, actually, audio files. And you have a bunch of uh, other files like the cover art, uh, the, the, the uh, I don't know, it's a configuration file probably, a plist. Okay, so what we need to do is to extract, export uh, all audio files, so let's list them as um, a list instead of icons. Uh, I, have a, uh, I have a bunch of them, so it can take a few seconds before it does work. And that laptop is not really fast. So I'm still waiting for the list to show up. Almost there. And sort the files by type so you'll have audio files first, is, so it will be easier to uh, select only audio files. So once that done, simply select all your audio files and you, you see I cannot identify which files are uh, from which artist or which song. It's kind of just a random number. So I'm gonna select a few of them. I actually have a lot of them. So control C and then I do a copy paste. So on my keyboard, I press control C, but if you right click, you can say copy here and then go to a folder, whatever, create a folder. I created mine in music from iPhone and I will paste my files in here, do a paste and then all my M4A files will be copied here. And you need to do that in another folder. Don't do this on your iPhone. What I'm gonna do next, because you will mess uh, your iPhone. Okay, so files are being lo uh, copied locally. So that's the first step. I extracted my audio files on my hard drive. But as you can see, there's no way I can identify which song uh, is is which because it's on it's it's only a name and doesn't mean a thing. So next, open Music Brains Picard. And what Music Brains Picard does is look at the metadata in your files. But you'll see there's a twist here. So I will click Add Folder. A folder from my iPhone which is on my hard drive not directly from my iPhone so I click open and all files are here but the issue is <clears throat> the issue is that there are no metadata in each file so it's impossible to know which artist album album or track number you, you kind of lost everything but Picard Music Brain does the trick. Simply select all your files and then click scan. 
And what mu Picard, uh, Music Brain Picard will do is look on the internet for the unique signature of each file and identify them. So it will take a few minutes depending on how much files you have in your computer, but it's kind of neat. So as you can see, it's actually identifying each songs. Okay, so it can happen that some may not be identified, but basically it does the job for 95% of them. So as you can see, I have now all my metadata, see, here for each file. And they are listed by album, artists, and so on. So you can see here, it's been identified, but I think it's not a hundred percent match, but it does the job. So that's something we need to check out. But I, from uh, my memory, memory, I think it's, those are the, the, the right uh, data in there. Anyway, it does the job for a lot of them. So now what you need to do, select all and click save. So metadata will be updated in the files. If you go back to your folder, see everything has been renamed and uh, metadata also has been updated. So if you look here, I click properties and audio and I have now the metadata in my files. Oh, one thing I have to say, uh, for this to work, you need to go in options. Make sure that rename files is checked and move files is also checked. Because if you don't do that, file, uh, the, the files will keep their original name, which is uh, like a random number .m4a. So make sure before saving, you check those two options here and what Music Brains Picard will do is reorganize all your files. See from iPhone. So every files, uh, every file has been reorganized by artists and then by album, and then each file has been renamed properly. So this is the way with Ubuntu and with the help of Music Brains Picard to reorganize uh, your music from your iPhone. And then you just need to copy those files wherever you want. So from the start, go in your iPhone folder, in the um, purchases folder, just copy the M4A files. That's all you need. Then paste into a local folder here. There we go, here. So I just kind of uh, created a folder called from iPhone, could be anything. And then I'm kind of waiting, something's lagging. Probably that's my uh, laptop. Oh darn, it's taking a lot of time. I think it's, uh, since I'm recording, it's trying to figure out how to do this. So I'm gonna close this one. Okay, there we go. So as I said, just paste all your files in a local folder and then open music brain and make sure to import the proper folder make sure that options rename files and move files is checked and then click select all your unmatched files click scan and then you'll just click save and all your library will be reorganized by name, uh, artist, albums, and metadata, that data will also be updated. And then it's a matter of put that wherever you want on your hard drive or, or in your network or into another device. So that's how you can export your uh, audio files from your iPhone, iPod, iPad, whatever, and regain access with a, a library that does make sense by folders and by file name with all the metadata included at the same time. And the great thing is uh, those files are not DRM protected. 
So you can copy those files wherever you want and re-import them eventually in your iPhone. The, t the trick is, I'm going to show it to you. If I go in Documents on my iPhone, I do have access to any app that does uh, share a folder in your iOS device. So let's look at AirDisk Pro. Uh, I like this one. Let's say I want to uh, include uh, my audio files in there. I would just have to copy files from, where is it again? I don't want to go up. Okay, so let's say I want to keep Guns N' Roses. Control C. I'm going to copy. I'm going to do it from the screen. Copy, 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 copy here. And then I would go back to my iPhone documents and just paste the files, making those audio file uh, audio files available for my uh, iPhone into an app, whatever it is. So what you could do is actually have an audio player on your iOS device instead of using the basic um, music app to listen to your audio files, just install uh, an audio player, whichever you, you want, and just paste the content in there and use that app to listen to your favorite music on your iOS device. So I've shown you now how to export the music from your iPhone using Music Brain Picard. Hope you enjoyed that little demonstration and as usual, see you another time. Bye.